Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I have a category Bolo video for you guys. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Full time reseller. All right, let's get started. Um, it's an interesting one. It's not one that you would expect. It's probably not something that you're going to happen upon quite often, but if you do, you're going to know to pick it up. So we are going to dig right in here and we are going to get started on some um, big money and bread and butter bolos. But some of these are such big money that you're going to be like, what is happening? What am I seeing here? Okay, so my name is Courtney. My channel is based on items to bow low for, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell high. Um, so we are going to get started here. Okay, so the first item. You guys, these are nerds. Or no, wait, I'm sorry. These are not nerds. These are double digits. Cherry and orange kind of look like a nerd pack. So I don't know if these are like generic nerds or what. Has anybody heard of these? They're from 1986. They are unopened. And they sold for $201.50 free shipping on auction. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so if it were me, I would put do not eat. Okay, here we go. It is, um, it has never been opened. The contents are old and should not be eaten. I was going to say, I would definitely be disclosing that this is for advertising or just to look at nostalgia, not to eat. All right, you guys. So that one sold for $201.50. The next item are the nerds glasses. So these are sunglasses filled with nerds. Again, from 1986. Check it out. These sold on auction for $138.13. The next item is 1988 package of Fleer Razzles candy gum. And I believe these are all from the same um, eBay store. So this person has probably like gotten really lucky and found some old candy at like an estate or somebody that collected it. And they're selling it off. And luckily, this person knew to sell these items because a lot of people just would have dismissed it and thrown it in the trash. Check it out. Does anybody remember these? Razzles. The next item that sold are these vintage 1980s bag of 22 boxes of candy cigarettes. Do you guys remember these? I remember these from when I was a kid. They were actually really good, but the whole idea of little kids smoking candy cigarettes is kind of a weird, it's kind of weird. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Um, I don't know. I just used to eat the sticks. I thought they were good. Um, 105.50 on those. $105.50, you guys. The next item is these Nick L. Nip wax bottle candy sealed. I remember these also. Um, you like, there's like juice inside them, right? Am I thinking of the right thing? <laughs> so crazy. Now these only sold for $51, but you guys really $51 for some old vintage candy. Pretty good. Okay. These are vintage 1988 Amurol, A-M-U-R-O-L, I have no idea, box of Noid candy balls. Never heard of this one. Let me know in the comments if you guys have and tell me, were they any good? It says tart and fruity candy balls. These only went for $29, but still pretty good for some old candy. Wow, that's sour candy by Tops, 1988, um, box of Tops. Wow, that's sour sealed unopened again this one only had one bid and it sold for $24.95 now look at this one you guys tart and tinies by Willy Wonka um 
1990, and it seems like the Willy Wonka stuff does pretty well, but it, you can see here, golden ticket sweepstakes. So do you guys remember Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? I know you guys had to have all watched that when you were a kid. I wonder if that has something to do with making this more um, collectible. Anyway, this sold for $480 with 90 bids, you guys, and this one just ended on January 9th. The next item that sold are these bottle caps. I remember these also. I feel like they still make bottle caps today, um, but I'm not 100% sure. These are by Willy Wonka, also from 1988. Again, I don't know if it's the Willy Wonka that's... I, I, is Willy Wonka candy still around? Is that what's driving the price up? Does anybody know? This one still has 15 hours left on the auction, and... It's currently at $345 with 91 bids. So we're going to go in. And there are six unique bidders. And what I like to do is I like to look at the bidder history and see how many feedback they have. So this person has 3,594 feedback and this one has 454. So typically when people have a lot of feedback like that, they're usually going to pay. Not always. But if this was zero feedback or 10 or something lower, I might question it. But being that the feedback for the $340 is over $3,000, i am going to say this is probably going to be an item that gets paid for. The next item are these Rinky Dinks. Again, Willy Wonka, uh, 1986. And these sold for $277. So they are super flavored, tiny jaw, breaker, jaw breakers. Three fun foam balls. I don't know what that means. Candy with faces. There you have it, you guys. $277. 23 bids on that. Let's see. Um, the winning bidder had 4,692 feedback. So not too shabby there. Um, another thing that you can do, this just sold on January 3rd. So the feedback... Um, you may not find it yet, but we can go into their feedback and type in, well, we can look right here. Um, new Raz, oh no, that's not it. Um, let's just type in Willie and see if anything comes up. Nothing comes up yet. So they may, um, it still may be en route to the buyer. Okay, two packs of nerds, you guys. We got cherry and grape. These are also Willy Wonka's. And these only sold for $48, which sounds crazy to say that they only sold for $48 because, I mean, come on, they're just some nerds, right? All right, I wanted to make sure my screen share was up. <laughs> um, okay, so $48 free shipping on that one. Again, I believe that is the same seller. So they have just made a ton of money on old candy. The next item is the skeleton screw. Sorry, excuse me. Skeleton crew treats. Um, so the one thing about this, I probably would have put vintage Halloween in the title just to um, hit the Halloween market. But this is another type of candy. It only got seven bids and it sold for $26. It's funny because it's got the original 25 cent sticker on it. The next item are these freckled eggs. And these are also Willy Wonka's and they sold for $31 on auction. And free shipping on those as well. So pretty, pretty cool. And we're going to go into some other types of candy here at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. Um, this is a Cherry Clan candy box. You guys, it's just an empty box from 1979-1981. Uh, uh, sold for $49.99. So I'm not sure. Kind of crazy, right? The next item that sold are these Red Hots. They sold for $52.75 with six bids. These are from the 70s, and um, they have the little Valentine's boxes. So they're just small, mini rare. The next item are these Sweet Tarts. 41 years old, 1980 vintage sealed bag of Sweet Tarts. 70 mini packets Halloween candy. This sold for $69.95. Sweethearts. I remember those. The next item are these 1990 Willa Wonka, Willy Wonka fruit flavored bumbles. Never heard of these. Candy bees. 
check them out. I mean, who hangs on to this stuff for that long? It's just so odd, right? Um, $98 these went for and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are the three musketeers. So these are candy bars, um, Halloween box train, witch. so the Halloween theme advertising on the box could have helped this sell for more. This sold for $108, um, with four bids. And it, anytime you're selling vintage stuff, you do want to show the damage. So the seller did a good job of showing the damage on the item. But it looks like there's uh, 24 uh, candy bars in here. So, or no, is this just the box? I think this is just, this is just the box. This is just the box. Oh my goodness. No candy bars, just the box, guys. 108. So, again, probably would have used vintage Halloween as my first two words. I feel like people search that. Okay, I remember these too. Chicklets. Uh, 1960s Adams Chicklets Tiny Size Bubblegum Pack. Still full vintage candy. Sold for $125, you guys. How fun is that? The next item is this Clark Candy Bars Vintage. And this is just the box also. So it's a candy bar box. So if you see these old boxes, they are collectible. $146.49 plus shipping on that one. The next item are these 1970s certs. So these are candy mints, you guys. 12 rolls, unopened, originally 10 cents. I don't know if that was 10 cents each or 10 cents for this entire box, but this sold for $150 plus shipping. The next item are these rare, hard to find, vintage 1984 Nerds Willy Wonka's candy treat size unopened box, $189.99. So let's go over here to the feedback. Here's one way to check to see if something actually sold. Um, and, you know, you can sometimes tell by the feedback of the buyer if you think it's going to pay. But right here, you guys, three vintage 1984 Nerds Willy Wonka packs sold for $250. And we know that this was a good sale, you guys, because they left them feedback. Great item, great seller. So vintage Willy Wonka Nerds really are a bolo. And I don't see feedback for the one that we just looked at yet. So not everybody leaves feedback. Um, so it's not foolproof to decide if the item's been paid for. But if the feedback is there, you know that it was a good sale. Just one way to check. This is a Runtz um, box. It's a candy box. And it says with t-shirt offer. And this sold for $200 plus shipping. And it's from 1984. So I don't know. I don't understand. But I don't have to understand. I just need to know about it if I see it so I can buy it and I can sell it. Here's another nerds. You guys, these are sweet and sour hearts. Um, so they kind of have the Valentine theme. They are vintage from 1989, still sealed, sold for $480. And let's go ahead and look at the bid history. The winning bidder had 454 feedback. So I'm I'm guessing they probably paid. Um Let's check the feedback here. Uh, we'll put in, oh, right here, look at this. Oh, nope, I'm gonna show you that one, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna show you that one here soon. Let's type in nerds. Was it nerds? I think it was nerds. Okay, so no feedback. And no feedback for that. So no feedback, but they only have 11 feedback in the last month. The next item is this Valentine's Day Conversation Hearts store display. So it is just the display. It looks like it has one box of candy left. And this only went for $51. I would have thought that this would have went for more. Oh, no, wait. I'm sorry. This is still live. This is still a live auction. It still has two days and 23 hours left. So it still may get some action. There's 20 people watching this item. So pretty cool uh, vintage advertising piece. The next item sold for $345. These are vintage Valentine's Day heart candy chocolate boxes from the 1940s to the 1980s. A lot of times people will sell these individually. Depending on how fancy they are, they can go for more. But this person decided to lot them up in a lot of 20, which is pretty cool. $345 is not too shabby. I'm not sure why the shipping's so high, but um, may, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's an oversized box. 
vintage Christmas lifesaver, sweet storybook, all rolls in cellophane tanger. Um, pretty cool. Uh, this is, you know, it's a collectible because it's Christmas, it's vintage, but it also still has the original um, lifesavers in it. And this sold for $102.50 plus shipping. All right. Next, I want to talk, talk to you about Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle's channel. Noelle is a bolo finder. You guys, if you're not following her, you need to go over and check out her YouTube channel because number one, she knows so much about so many things, but she also sells like things that maybe you wouldn't pick up or expect to sell. She's just very knowledgeable. But you guys know how I do category videos like this one. She does this, but in a different type of style. She goes live and she picks a category. So, um, this was a state sale bathroom. So these were items that she picked up at an estate sale and she unboxes them and shows you guys different bolo items to look for from um, the bathroom. And I have some bathroom uh, category videos also, so check those out, but also go over and check out hers because we talk about different items. But um, I will try to remember to link her down below. If I don't remember, please somebody remind me in the comments or just search Farm Girl Scavenger Noel and you will find her. So Noelle sold these Tic Tacs. And if I remember correctly, she was at like a place where she picked up a bunch of these wholesale. And I think they were a quarter a piece. I was supposed to write that down and I forgot. But I think that's what I read. Um, Noelle, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. But this is Tic Tac bubblegum, you guys. And I'm pretty sure she said these are discontinued flavors. And she sold it for $119.99 plus shipping. All right, let's look at the next one. She sold two of these for $109.99. Are these Tic Tac sugar-free gum, 56 pieces. And she has sold two of these so far, two packs for $29.99 plus shipping. The next item is this Wrigley's Hubba Bubba Max Strawberry Watermelon Bubblegum. And it is um, Wubba Bubba, Wubba, or no, Hubba, I said Wubba, Hubba Bubba Gum. And you get five packs for $22.99. And uh, she sold two of these and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is this Tic Tac Gum. It's Spearmint. Again, it's discontinued. This is a sugar-free gum. And this sold for $29.99 for two packs. And she has sold five packs of these, you guys, or five separate listings. The next item are these Tic Tac Mixers Cherry Cola Gum. Again, I do believe these are a discontinued uh, flavor. And she has sold two of these for $25.99. Yeah, pretty interesting, right? People selling candy and gum for big money. All right, you guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Have you ever sold candy for um, big money or I don't know. I have another video. I think it's called vintage gum. And you guys, at that time, I found all of these vintage gum listings. You got to go check out that video. I'll try to remember to link it down below. If I forget, somebody remind me and I'll try to grab it and put it in the comments. But thank you guys so much for being here. Be sure to check out some of my other Bolo videos. Um, that's basically what I do here on this channel is I look for Bolo items. I sell on eBay full time. So I have a bunch of what sold videos. If you want to see my bread and butter videos, those are items that I sell for $35 or less. Or I've got my big money Bolos, which are those higher dollar items that everybody hopes to find super, super cheap. So check out some of those. I've got featured members videos where I feature bolos of my members. And let me tell you, they find some big money bolos. They are awesome. So check those out. Check out my channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.